2007 GMC Sierra Crew Cab SLE Z71. Here is one of the nicest 07 GMC Sierras you're gonna find out there. This track is in extremely exceptional condition. Um, this track is a 15 or 16 year old track with 190,000 miles on it. Um, yeah, that's right, 190,000 miles. But this truck has clearly been unbelievably well taken care of. It's kind of a cream puff. It's a truck that you can tell that somebody probably um, took extreme pride of ownership in. And it's a rare truck because um, somebody who is willing to keep their truck this long and take this good care of it um, and it still look like the way it is, you know this truck has a ton of life left in it. So don't let the mileage scare you. Uh, this is a two owner, zero accident Kansas truck. The previous owner bought it with 19,000 miles on it. So it's basically been a one owner for the majority of its life. Um, it's sitting on excellent Michelin tires. There's absolutely no rest on the body or undercarriage. The truck is in just exceptional shape throughout. It runs and drives absolutely great. Um, and it's just a rare example of a clean quality crew cab four wheel drive pickup. I'm gonna do a quick video walk around here for you, show you the ins and out of it, show you the blemishes. This is still a used truck. It still has 190,000 miles on it, so it's got a few bumps and bruises here and there. But overall, this truck is in nice shape. It's finished in the stealth gray metallic color, a kind of medium blue, uh, granite blue color. Uh, very, very sharp sitting out here in the sun. Kind of a rare color for these years and very, very popular. Uh, moving to the front here, the chrome bumper, the headlights, the grill is all in good shape. Um, no no uh, fading out of the ordinary, really. Uh, the grill and the chrome all looks good. It's not peeling or anything like that. Uh, the paint's not all chipped up from rocks or anything like that as well. Um, coming down to the passenger side here, looks like we have one small little dent right there, if you can pick it up. Um, a few little paint chips here or there that can be easily touched up and, and you wouldn't even notice them, such as um, typical, typical to be seen. One little door scuff here, um, typical of when people open their door and it hits it in the wind. And there is a scratch right here. It's about 15 inches long, 12 to 15 inches long there. As you can see, it kind of goes in. Some of that could be buffed out, I'm sure, but no rust long here. If you know this generation GM truck, these are so common to bubble and rust and corrode away. Um, that one is just absolutely mint condition. Looking at the rear bumper area, the tailgate, it's all in good shape. There's no dents in the bumper. It does have the full size tow package. This has a Lear hard top to no cover that's in exceptional shape. No faded paint. It's color matched. It looks great. Um, coming out of the driver's side, very, very clean here as well. And once again, you just look at this fender. There's just not a bubble or a discoloration at all in the paint. No rust. Um, driver's side all the way down looks good. Uh, one small little dent right here if you can pick it up. Uh, the rest of the paint, the body looks good though. Uh, throughout the hood, the glass, the top end is all in good shape. There's no hail, there's no fade in the paint. Um, it looks, looks good there. Uh, sitting on Michelin tires, like I mentioned, all the way around. Um, they're in very, very good shape, you can tell by the tread. Um, and being a Michelin, of course, it just rolls down the road fantastically. Uh, we'll take a look to the inside. Uh, being SLE, it's going to come nicely equipped, not, not crazy, but um, very, very well equipped for a pickup and and very, very clean and tidy in here. Of course, all power locks and windows and mirrors, uh, automatic headlights and controls there. Um, driver's side seat, it's in nice shape. A little bit of, of uh, breakdown here in the seat, as you can see, it's starting to, to split, but, but nothing out of the ordinary. A um, little bit of discoloring there on the upholstery, but that could be clean. The camera kind of accentuates it, but the rest of the seat's in nice shape. Looks good, it's upheld well with the foam. Um, looking at the driving position here, your cruise control, steering wheel controls are all good. Um, of course, a clean and clear dash. Uh, all the gauges are right in the zone. Um, it sounds good, it runs good, it's smooth, it's quiet. Uh, shift on the fly four wheel drive here, which is of course fully functional. AM, FM, CD, radio, uh, dual automatic climate control. It does have a remote start on it as well. Uh, we do have two sets of keys. Um, the dash is in nice shape all the way across overall. The typical spot right here, um, which almost every GM truck does. And then we do have one hairline right here, but that's typical of this generation of, of GM truck. If you've looked at them, you know, um, they're usually completely destroyed. So um, very, very nice. Does have the, the middle pop-up seat for seating for up to six. Uh, looking at the back seat here, it's in nice shape. Um, very, very clean and tidy as well. Um, no major discoloration. Uh, it does have the GM rubber floor mats all the way through as well. 
Um, passenger side seat and carpet as well um, is fully set there. Uh, interior smells good and looks good, uh, nothing crazy. Take a pop and look under the hood. Um, see what it looks like. This has got the 5.3 Vortec V8 in it. Just a fantastic GM motor if you know these. Um, very, very clean and tidy under the hood. Nothing aftermarket, nothing goofy. Um, all the plastics, all the um, hoses all look good. Uh, yeah, no funny wires, no funny noises, nothing aftermarket or weird, but just a very, very clean and tidy engine bay and a great motor to, to go alongside of it. So I'm Miles Beckman, Brad Beckman. He's my dad. He's the owner. We're a small family dealership in McPherson. We would look forward to serving you, whether it's on this truck or something else we may have. Find us on our website, eaglecarados.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Find us on Facebook and just let us know how we can best serve you. Thanks so much for watching.